new videos every day. Have you ever felt bloated, had constipation or diarrhea, or alternating constipation and diarrhea? Have you experienced heartburn, acid reflux? Have you been fatigued after you ate a meal? Well, these are all problems associated with the digestive system. So today we're gonna to talk about digestion, how to improve it, how to become healthier, so that you don't have to live with these uncomfortable symptoms. So I wanna reiterate uh, something that I did in a previous video, and we wanna talk about what nutrition really means. Nutrition isn't just having a healthy diet and eating the right foods. That's really just the first step. The second step would be starting to digest those foods. The third step would be to absorb the nutrients and transport the nutrients to your cells. And the fourth step would be to eliminate the waste in a timely manner. So this is what your body is doing all day long, you know, as you're eating. But what is actually making that work? Well, enzymes are the chemical substances that actually facilitate digestion, absorption, transportation, and elimination. Enzymes function as catalysts in our body and they speed up tons of biochemical reactions within our cells. And also, enzymes are only activated in water. So if you are dehydrated, you are keeping your own body from working properly. You are actually keeping the nutrients that you're eating from getting to your cells. So we understand enzymes facilitate nutrition, getting nutrients to our cells. But you may be asking yourself, well, you know, are enzymes really necessary? Well, actually, enzymes speed up biochemical processes within our body so fast that if we didn't have the enzymes, we actually wouldn't survive because the, those biochemical processes would take so long that it wouldn't get to us in time. Now, these symptoms that you're experiencing could just be a result of a lack of enzymes um, within your body. And so what's happening is that your digestive system is not getting what it needs to function properly. It's not as efficient, the biochemical processes aren't occurring as fast as they should, so you're experiencing the bloating, the diarrhea, the constipation, fatigue, the, the food cravings. You know, all of these symptoms are evidence that basically your system just isn't working like it should. So where do enzymes come from? Well, our pancreas secretes the enzymes into our digestive system for nutrition. But really, they're only, the pancreas is only supposed to be responsible for about 50% of the enzymes for digestion. And the rest of the enzymes are supposed to come from raw foods. Okay, so I don't know about you, but there's very few people out there that eat only raw, uncooked foods. So we're cooking the foods and then we're depleting the enzymes that are in those foods for digestion. So we're actually taxing our pancreas and that's just another way that we are overburdening our system and making our digestive system not work as efficiently. Now, if we go back about 500 years and look at the diets that people were eating, they were not eating what we are eating today. They were eating mostly natural, um, you know, unprocessed, raw foods. So our bodies were not developed to take in the kind of foods that we eat today. So our diets today and our lifestyles and the way that we choose to live actually impacts how our digestive systems work. For example, we live high stress lives, we eat on the run, you know, we don't chew our food as much as we should, um, we don't eat the right foods, we're choosing the boxed, canned, frozen meals, um, you know, we are not drinking enough water, we're choosing the wrong foods, we're just doing all sorts of things that are really factors that decrease the activity of enzymes and make it harder for us to function properly. So it's actually a fact that people are not eating as many raw foods as we did in the past, and that is a big contributor to a lack of enzymes in our diets. Um, the activity of enzymes are significantly impacted by the temperature that we cook our foods and how long they're cooked and how much they are processed. You know, the further we get away from the natural state the food was in, the less amount of enzymes that it has. So it makes us harder uh, to digest them. Now, lifestyle factors 
that impact the activity of enzymes include high stress, whether you know it's a traumatic event or if it's chronic stress over a lifetime. Um, aging, which is also, you know, obviously something that just naturally occurs. Um, not drinking enough water, um, not chewing enough, eating too fast, choosing the wrong foods, uh, eating while we're stressed, uh, choosing to do activity at, right after we eat. These are things that are, you know, choices that we probably don't even think about, but they certainly impact how we get nutrients to our cells. Okay, so if you're the, you know, the person or you know someone who does experience these uh, digestive sy symptoms, whether it's, you know, just sporadically or whether it's chronic and it's just something that has to be dealt with, there are things that you can do to improve your health. Number one, <laughs> avoid processed foods. And you're going to hear this time and time again, but it's because it actually will help you. Uh, the, the more organic and natural foods that you can eat, the, the better that it's going to be for you. The easier it is to digest them, the more nutrients that they contain, and they just have an overall better benefit for your body. Number two, drink more water. You want to drink at least half your body weight in ounces. So if you're a 200 pound person, you want to drink at least 100 ounces of water a day. So the reason why drinking enough water is important is because enzymes are only activated in water. They are called hydrolytic molecules, which just means what I just said. If you're not drinking enough water, they aren't able to work like they should. And if you have enough water in your system, then they can work like they should. Number three, an alternative is taking supplemental enzymes. You know, there's many things in our lifestyles that we can't improve as easily. For example, um, if you have a job that demands a lot of your time and energy, um, you know, it's not a simple fix just to go quit your job. Um, so there's things that we can do that can support digestion without, um, you know, radically changing our lifestyle. And one of those things is taking supplemental enzymes. Supplemental enzymes are a way to support your digestion. They're in capsule form. They're produced from plants. Um, but they are the same enzymes that your body produces. So basically, you're just giving your digestive system a little help to do its job a little bit better so that you can get more nutrients and make sure that your whole system is working properly, that you're eliminating everything properly, and that you're, you know, eventually getting the energy that your body needs to function. Now, when I was in college and studying about nutrition, I actually wasn't, you know, told uh, or educated about the importance of supplemental enzymes. And um, it wasn't until I myself was diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome and began going through my own horrific symptoms that I was just desperate to find something that helped me. And I started taking supplemental enzymes. And, you know, I was very skeptical at first, but I was just so desperate for a cure, basically. Um, and I stuck with it. I took them for about four months with every single meal, in between meals, at bedtime. And, you know, I can tell you, I am cured of IBS. And there's very few people out there that can actually say that my IBS was cured. Um, so that's just, that's a personal experience, something that I know on a firsthand basis that these work. And there's tons of stories out there from other people, even my own grandfather. Basically, the enzyme saved his life and kept him from dialysis, and he's still going strong. Um, so, it, you know, you may hear about it, you may also be skeptical, but just want you to know that, you know, I myself have experienced the benefit of enzymes. So if you would like more information about enzymes, about how the digestive system works, about what you can do to help yourself, please go to my website. It's www.nutritionbynatalie.com and I have a great article on there about enzymes, about what you can do to improve your health. Um, also, I list some recommended enzyme supplements and want to let you know that if you take better care of your health, if you do some simple things to change your lifestyle, you will feel better. I'll see you next time.